Hello, everybody. Hi. Um, I am going to get something to place my tripod on so it's not so uh, low and right in my face. So hold, please. That's not going to work, Melissa. That's not cool. Maybe that'll work. Hi. There we go. <laughs> if you saw what it was resting on right now, you would laugh. It is a cheeseburger <laughs> lunchbox. <gasps> Hi. Good afternoon, good evening. Wait. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you are when you're watching this live video. It is another episode of Work With Me Wednesday, which is where I go live on YouTube and I work while you're sitting there <laughs> watching. This was born out of a crooked phone. No, this was born out of a post um, pandemic or maybe we still are in the pandemic I don't know this was born out of a post pandemic trend that I saw personally where people would um, where people would go get on zoom calls and just work together like they would get on a Zoom call with each other and just set your phone up and you can work at your desk if you're doing transcription or something at your desk. You can set the phone down and clean your kid's room or vacuum your living room. Um, you can uh, turn the phone on and, I mean, turn the Zoom on and mute yourself and make important phone calls, whatever. It's just the point is that you're not alone and you've got an audience and if you want to hear someone else doing something or if you just like to listen to me, which I don't know why you would, but I've actually heard that before, I promise, then here we are. And I'm usually watching uh, some Golden Girls or Mama's Family or um, King of the Hill, Everybody Loves Raymond, King of Queens, some kind of thing that makes me laugh usually. And you're just here with me while I work. So today I am packaging, oh, I better not hold that up because it's got somebody's address on it. Today I'm packaging up some flash drive orders. I am making gifts for my, um, hang on. I am making gifts for the end of the year, for holiday, for Christmas, for my kids' teachers and the principal at the elementary school and I am keeping up with a spreadsheet of donations that I'm taking for a person who I know who was evicted from her home today. Kind of a big deal, she's got three kids and I have been gathering money um, through donations to help her get some groceries and necessities for the time being. If you want information about that, you can go in my Facebook group at, um, it's called Designs by Little B Machine Embroidery Designs, and you can go in there, and I just made a post about it, if you have a few bucks. If, if everybody in the groups that I've posted this in donated one dollar, she would have rent for a new apartment for a year. I mean, plus some. So, I just put that out there. If you are not in a place to donate right now, totally understand. It is not a thing that I expect. I just know that some people have extra money, and if you do, might as well do something nice for um, nice for somebody else and get you some good karma, too. Okay, so... Now, I'm going to... Uh, load up some flash drives for someone who bought a bunch of flash drives and basically I'm just live and I've got my YouTube open on my computer screen and so there is a live chat available and if you have any pressing questions for example about an embroidery design or about do I have this or do I have that or how do you make a this or that you can just comment in the live chat 
and I will answer you. I'm actually working on getting a, I have a StreamYard account, which is really cool because when you go live, you can publish people's comments into the video and I can answer them in real time. So that's pretty cool, but I don't know how to use it yet and I just don't, mm, I can't learn anything new today. So, I need to change the um, title of this. It should be Work With Me Wednesday, Episode 2, because we did this last week, too. And I'm going to try to remember to do it every Wednesday. I just like going live, and if I, if I were you, I would want somebody to chat with me while I vacuumed or did whatever. So, I'm going to put my headphone in, and I'm going to turn Golden Girls on. And I am watching the live chat. Hi, in the live chat. And if you have any burning questions about embroidery, you just ask me and I will answer in real time as I see them on the screen. And other than that, I'm just going to work and be up and down doing some lip balm holders for teacher gifts. And drinking my Diet Dr. Thunder, because I couldn't afford Diet Dr. Pepper this week. <laughs> so the generic is, you know, just almost as good. And I'm going to turn Golden Girls back on. Um, I'm on the episode. I'm on, if you want to watch along with me, which I think would be hilarious. I'm on season three, episode nine. It's the one where Sven, who is Rose's, what, cousin or something, comes to visit the girls. And Sven falls in love with Blanche, I think. I'm on the part where he's about to tell them. Okay. Ugh, I have to watch commercials. Ugh. I'm on the Hulu plan. Like, we got rid of a couple of our um, streaming services because they're just all too expensive. But we did keep Hulu, but we did downgrade to the plan where you have to watch commercials. And I regret that decision, like, every day. <laughs> like, I wonder what bill could I cut out or what could I not eat this week so that I could pay for not no commercials on Hulu because it is annoying. All right. I'm about to make some Nutcracker lip balm holders for teachers and friends. I have a few gift bags or goodie bags to make for people, so I'm going to put different things in there. And this is a great time to remind you that the website is on sale for 30 Where did it go? Um, the website is on sale for 30% off through the end of the year, and that includes several sets. Like, there's a candy cane set, there's a bunch of different sets, so you can get for like $5 or less, you can get a whole set of projects, and then your gift giving is covered. I mean, if you have somebody you just wanted to make some stuff for, you can get like a lip balm holder, a sanitizer, and a notebook cover, or something like that, in a set. So, go search for those. They should be under, if you go to shop by project, they are under 
Um, it's called sets slash value packs. And that will be the sets that you can buy. <laughs> okay, so Sven is falling for Blanche. And Rose is very upset. Because she did not want him to fall in love. Well, where is the Nutcracker lip balm holder? I'm getting very annoyed because I cannot find it. Where am I? Am I in the wrong year? What? Oh, I know what it is. I had my designs listed by date this morning because I was looking for something. Bingo! There it is. So today what I'm going to be making is I've made a few Nutcracker items. And I'm going to publish those and I'm also going to put them into some goodie bags. So this is actually a poinsettia um, for a friend coffee wrap. I bought a big set. Hang on. Let me pause Blanche. So I bought a big pack of to-go coffee cups, like travel coffee cups from Walmart. And I make these. They're curved and then you stitch a button onto one end. And so then you can wrap it around a travel coffee cup like this. I think I have, no, I don't have one here anymore. Um, and so I make these. Also that goes on those travel coffee cups are the coffee clutch. So the cup goes through here, you put eyelets through here, and then you put a little cutesy chain on it. And it's just super cute. I made a nut, this is really cute, a nutcracker uh, badge or ID holder. So if you want to put a card, like an ID, a badge, maybe even a gift card, this would be really cute. And I also made the Nutcracker fold-over bookmark. Now, most of my Christmas designs are out already, and I realize these are like super last minute. I mean, Christmas is 10 days away, but I just wanted to make them. I really wanted to make these two things, so I went ahead and made them. They're not on the website yet. I need to photograph them today. Maybe I'll do that while I sit here. Maybe I won't. Um, but those are the things that I'm making for my gifts for teachers, principals, friends, relatives, loved ones. You want to make, send something, a gift to somebody in the mail, it's like eight ounces for a few projects. So it's cheap and afford, I should say affordable. Structure six, very gifts, very just for me. Orange, royal white, orange, royal blue, and white. Okay. Orange. Okay, dice game. So sorry if you see the top of my head. I gotta lean down here and put um, the flash drive in my computer because I am not brilliant enough to get one of those flash drive extender things. Okay, so she wanted the Bunko bag. Bunko bag. Jennifer, if you are watching. I am putting designs on your flash drive. And I have to find what year I made the Bunko bag because it is old-ish. It's from 2018. Eh, fascinating. Okay, blue. And I'm going to put a post-it note. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> She's saying funny stuff. So what I'm going to do for Work With Me Wednesday is I'll be on here for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on if anybody talks to me or does anything. And I've been on for 15 minutes. So we're going to go Bunko. Zipper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
guess what we got from Walmart today? I'm so excited. We got a grocery pickup, and lately I've been craving a cheese ball. Like, you know, the smoked cheddar or cheddar cheese cheese ball. And I'm so excited because I'm not going to eat on camera. That's annoying and embarrassing. Um, but as soon as I turn this live video off, I'm going to go get Ritz crackers and some cheddar cheese from the cheese ball. And I'm so excited. Top zip bag with mini. Oh, this one's a great one. You're going to love this one. So what I did with the flash drives this week was if you buy a flash drive from me, which has my logo on it, if you buy one from me, I will, if you're giving it to a friend, hello, Deborah from Albuquerque, that's fun to say. If you buy a flash drive from me and you're going to give it to a friend, I will load one design of your choice on it. And if you're having it sent to yourself for gift giving, we're just on the honor system that you tell me you're going to give it away. I'm not going to ask you to prove it to me or anything. Um, so this one is the top zip. Ugh, I don't know. How did I? Ugh, sometimes it's so hard to remember what I call. There it is. Zipper bag with MCB pocket. And that's done. And Blanche calls him Swin. His name is Sven. And she keeps calling him Swin. And it's getting on my nerves. Zipper bag with MCV pocket. <laughs> Yahtzee bag. Oh, that's a cute, cute bag. T V W X Y Z Yahtzee Yahtzee Y A H Yahtzee Yahtzee. I want to play Yahtzee. <laughs> if you're just joining the live hi how are you i'm watching golden girls in my headphone that's why i laugh at random i'm not insane i kind of am but So where did the, oh, there it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excuse me, I hope you did not hear that. That was rude. <laughs> That's exactly how my mother sounds when she laughs. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> oh man. Blanche thinks she is over the hill. <laughs> somewhere put it down I have a lot of steps. Um, I'm going to start advertising the Work With Me Wednesdays in the group soon. I really just wanted to get a few under my belt to make sure I was comfortable with it and that I can um, do it regularly and kind of commit to it because I am bad about uh, trying a new idea and then I don't carry through with it and then everybody's like disappointed and that doesn't work. So just wanted to make sure that I would keep up with it. Did y'all pay attention to the fact that Andre Brower died a couple of days ago, two days ago? I am so sad. I loved him. I loved his acting. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And there was a show I used to watch called Men of a Certain Age with him and Ray Romano and... Um, uh, oh, shoot. Quantum Leap. What's his name? Uh, oh, come on. That's going to bug me. Quantum Leap. Come on. Scott Bakula. And there's a show called Men of a Certain Age. And it was just about kind of middle-aged, a few middle-aged men who are really good friends and the things that they go through in living their life. And I love that show, which is really weird because I think it was like 10 years ago when it was on. Let me see. And I was not really in middle age at the time, nor am I a man. Yeah, Roberta got it. Scott Vacula. Um, 
And Lisa Gay Hamilton, who I love, she played Andre Brower's wife, I think. And at the time this show was on, it was 2009 through 11. It was only two seasons. That is so wild. It was a great show. And although I was not in my 40s and not a man, I loved this show and I got really hooked on it. And then I watched him also in... Um, what was that show? Hang on. Anyway, he passed away two days ago. And I've been wanting to stream Men of a Certain Age recently, but it was always, you had to pay for it. I couldn't find it on any streaming service that I already pay for. And I, I was always too cheap to pay for, to stream it. And I think now that he passed away, I'm gonna like just stop being cheap and splurge and buy the series because I loved him in that show so very much. The Good Fight. Was he or was he not in The Good Fight? Hold please. Yes, he was. He played Richard, I think. It's spelled like Richard, but they called it Richard. Um, and he was in that show, The Good Fight, which I absolutely loved. And might start watching from the beginning, now that he's gone, kind of in tribute. Um, he was just a great, great actor. His voice was so deep and smooth. Um, and recognizable, and I, I just, I really admired him. He was only 61. That is way too young to die. And the news that I saw said that he died after a brief illness. And I don't know what that means, but, I mean, it's not our business. But 61 is too young to die. And he had a lot of acting and entertaining ahead of him. And it, that just sucks. Mm -hmm. If you see me, like, when I'm live, I do this thing because it's the same thing I do when I'm working. I have terrible posture and I sit like this instead of, you know, sitting up. And so sometimes you find me going like this. <laughs> I'm not trying to jut my chest out. I'm just trying to sit better and not, you know, hunched over like that. Um, let's see, where can I watch? Oh, Pro it says Men of a Certain Age is on Prime Video. It's also on YouTube TV, which I do. Oh, it says with Max. I don't have Max. I have a Max that's my kid, but I do not have HBO Max. Or is it called? Is it H? Is it? No, Cinemax. Max. I don't. I hate all these streaming services. So men of a certain age, it says three male friends experience the changes and challenges of midlife. Love this show. So, oh, buy season two for 99 cents. How could I not? Come on. How much is season one? Uh, uh, season one is $7.99. Mm, that's a lot. <laughs> so for less than 10 bucks, I could have both seasons. So I think I'll do that. Because I remember just really loving this show back in 2010. Or I, th I started watching it after it was on. It was like mid-teens. <laughs> Is that what we call them? 2014, 15-ish. Let's see. Okay. So anyway, I'm definitely going to do that. But right now I'm working on a Nutcracker lip balm. <laughs> you guys see why it takes me so long to do everything? Because I just want to do everything at once. I am using my Jelly Bean font to zhuzh up 
a lip balm holder. If I can get through all my Jolson's fonts that are saved as JD, that drives me bananas. Ooh, this name is kind of hard to fit on here. Did any of y'all watch that show, Men of a Certain Age? Oh, I loved it. Roberta is in Louisville, Texas. Deborah, I already answered this, but I am working on teacher gifts and principal gifts and just loved one gifts. Just gifts for every, everybody gets a gift. So, that is perfect. I'm adding names. So, if you have a fold-over lip balm design, let me go find one for you. Hang tight. Okay, if you have a fold-over lip balm holder, which is this kind, which a lot of people really like, um, you, you unsnap it and your lip balm is inside. A lot of people really like this one because your lip balm is secured inside and it, I guess it just doesn't, um, it isn't exposed to the elements and germs of you know the world and whatnot. So the way that you make these is, hang on, the way that you make these is actually flat on your hoop like this, okay? And then when you put the pocket on, you add it underneath the hoop, okay? The instructions tell you all this, it's not hard. So it's called a fold over lip balm holder. So it's so easy to add a name to your lip balm holder because this is the front of the hoop. You don't have to line anything up, you slap it in your software and you stitch it out and in the right order and it is it's done so you don't have to add a name you don't have to do two hoopings you don't have to try to line anything up so i'm making several of these the candy cane one is really cute especially with my bright red purse i know it's kind of orangey red but i call it red so it's red <laughs> um so i'm making a few of those with the nutcracker design and I'm making a few with like candy canes and I bought these packs of chapstick from Walmart today we I went to pick them up today with our Walmart delivery they were like four dollars for for three so they were a dollar something each you know which neither here nor there and I'm going to include them in my packs that I'm giving away to teachers, principals, loved ones, etc., with their name on it. And I guess it's a little late now because it's December 13th, so they're not going to be able to carry them much longer. Um, but I don't know what some of these people are interested in, so I don't know what to make them, like if they like hummingbirds or if they like flowers or whatever. So I'm just giving them a Christmas themed one, and they can use it next year if they want to. So that's what I'm working on today. So I'm adding the name of several the names of several people onto different nutcracker lip balm holders i kind of want to come up with something new so that i can use it as my sample but i don't know what to do right now i'm kind of overwhelmed today especially because i'm trying to do fundraising and talk to this young lady who is being displaced from her home today and so I'm just kind of like not in a creative space where I can just think of something new so I'm just doing nutcrackers for everybody everybody you get a nutcracker you get a nutcracker you get a nutcracker everybody gets a nutcracker today so let's answer Laura she sent me an email two days ago that I never responded happy face I love Laura she is so great. She helps me so much. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, Andre Brower was just a great actor. Is it? Oh, how is it already 1.30? How does that happen? Ugh. Thanks for watching another Work With Me Wednesday today. I will be back next Wednesday. I'm going to make this a weekly thing. I'm supposed to do it around 10 o'clock, but aforementioned busy morning, I just didn't I took both kids to school. I went and got a Walmart pickup. I put all the groceries away. I tried to help somebody. <laughs> I, was, I was really frazzled this morning. So it ended up being 1230. But I'm going to try to do them around 10 a.m. And I'm also trying to find a better angle for this camera. I got a new tripod that I need to set up. And uh, so I can do a better angle rather than me being like right here and it being the side of my face, which I am not crazy about anyway. Um, a, a little better, more photogenic angle, if you will. And I think after I turn off Golden Girls today, I'm going to go buy season one of Men of a Certain Age. Does anybody have a suggestion on a new fold over a lip balm holder I could do that's not Christmas themed? but that might appeal to a lot of people. I kind of want to do something I can upload on my website so that these can be samples, but I guess not everything has to be a sample. You know, not everything has to be for profit, <laughs> of course. But I just do like to use my time as wisely as possible. And at this point in my life, that means using my creativity to make money. The upside of that is that I can help others a lot when I make money. So I do like to do that too. Uh, I need to write some things down because I'm having thoughts that I can't go through with right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some clip art that I have on my desktop and see you know I never did make freestanding lace ornaments this year I've been saying I'm going to do them forever and I didn't get around to it this year I did make the personalizable ornaments this year though which are the blank ornaments that you can configure the little stick people on them and you can personalize it to your family they come with different hairstyles different t-shirt colors um, different faces um, like small medium and large for like adults or baby um, I've even got a little bodysuit with the t-shirt so you can put a baby on your ornament y'all they're so cute look up probably personalized ornament at designsmelodybee.com to see that one to see those I have one somewhere but I forgot where it is Actually, it's up there in a little plastic tote, and I'm not getting it out. Oh, 
That is cute. Oh, it's been 45 minutes. Hi, if you're still watching. This concludes today's episode of Work With Me Wednesday. I will be back next Wednesday at approx... Wait, next week's Wednesday isn't Christmas, is it? No, it's not. No. Um, I will be back next Wednesday around 10 a.m. I try to do it around 10 a.m. so that you know when to expect it, and I might even not be working next Wednesday. I might be cleaning my house or doing something in cooking or something in preparation for the Christmas holiday or for Christmas week. Because Christmas is what, Sunday? Or is it, let me see. Christmas is Monday. So next Wednesday, I'll probably be cleaning my house or doing some last minute ornaments or stocking stuffers for my kids. I need something to put money in because one of my kids really wants money. I mean, I want to say that that's like boring, but then again, he knows what he wants. I mean, I asked him what he wants and he said money because he likes to spend money in Minecraft. And so he asks for money. So, I mean, 
At least I know he likes when I'm kidding him. So I will log back on around 10 a.m. That's Central Time next Wednesday. That is the 20th. And if you'd like to chat about any designs or things that I've talked about in this video or anything else, you can always do so in my Facebook group. Look up Designs by Little B. And it is the group. You can also like my Designs by Little B Facebook page, but we get more personal and talk about more stuff in the group. And you can join it anytime. So I will see you guys in the next live video and I'll chat with you in the group.